Director, we are going to prison. A very specific old prison, built to house a particular criminal. The notorious geneticist, Dr. Otto Odious. There's more than one patient, though. Odious has illegally cloned himself thousands of times. We understand his other crimes to be essentially victimless. Sub-legal experiments on his copies, a spot of self-murder, and so on. His experiments have gone awry, and the authorities have called us to clean up the mess and, as part of a cultural exchange, give him to us as a researcher. Ms. Orion thinks he could be of great use. You're here! Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never actually met humans before. You people are so interesting. Uh, your people, I mean. Terrans, not like... Sorry, can we start over? Um, welcome to Odcatraz. We named it after a place on Earth, so hopefully you'll feel right at home. You guys like prisons, right? I'm Gray Norton the 42nd, the warden here, so you'll probably like me a lot, I hope. I'll introduce you to the doctor. He's exhausting. I have like five prescriptions and I still can't sleep. Silio Galactica, I've heard plenty about you, oh yes. Enjoy the many festivities of old Catraz. <laughs> It's a pleasure to join such a forward-thinking organization. Your Terran sensibilities can't be half as crude as all this old banality. My people take issue with some of my methods of scientific inquiry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about something else. As both a renowned geneticist and physician, I don't think you'll be disappointed in my work. Unlike some of our patients who may take issue with my bedside manner. Oh, this coat is rather comfortable. So, yeah, that's him. Thanks for taking this situation off our hands. Seriously, we don't know what he did, but all the inmates are coming apart like a crumbly cake. He's been experimenting on his many incarcerated clones and, well, you'll see for yourself. The station is on lockdown and for your safety, you're gonna have to make do with our prison doctors and any consultants you've brought with you. No outside hires, okay? Oh, uh, hopefully you can figure out what's going on around here and keep all the clones alive. Or most of them, anyway. Thanks, human people! I've been working on a device that you might find handy.
This is Cerebral Rehab, a device which is capable of entirely rebuilding the mind of a subject according to your own preferences. It's remarkably safe. I've tested it on myself from a certain point of view. <laughs> I imagine we'll be using it to benefit patients' health. To that end, I've added a memory inhibitor, so they don't recall the challenges of their treatment. I wouldn't look inside while it's on, if I were you. It's not very pretty. <laughs> oh, what fun we'll have together. Director, I've analyzed the design and it does actually seem rather ingenious. We could put it to use immediately, in fact. The first of the prison's wings awaits. Let's get cracking.
And we're away. I'll try to keep an eye on Odious for you. Okay, A wing is opened up. Due to our lockdown, I can't open up the other wings until you've gotten control of the situation in this one. Good luck, humans! Ah, yes. My research on glacial cortex would have already been complete if that cretinous warden hadn't interfered, through curing my hollow, inferior clones. We can finish my work together. I shall begin my studies. A fine bit of work, Director. You know your way around a frozen old brain. Most interventions I've seen haven't been quite so... clean. 
I suppose a hammer was a rather poor choice of tool. But then again, so was the old in question. Good gravy, Director. Critters are swarming the station. Is this the result of another cloning experiment? Things are going quite well, Director. Maybe, how are things on the floor? Um, they're okay. But I took biometrics for one guy before and after his treatment, and I don't think he was the same guy anymore. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Some of my patients receive additional help, depending on their condition. I assure you, they're right as rain. Just some minor changes here and there. Okay then, so long as they're happy and definitely still alive. Oh, under any rational definitions, most certainly. thing. Are the clones actually, like, still them? Medi, if you start shipathesiusing at me, I will simply turn off the call. I don't know what that means. to demonstrate the power our ridiculous laws preclude us from wielding. The transcendent science of cloning. Beautiful, isn't it? The endless potential of genetic power. Do try to remember which ones aren't real. It can become confusing. <laughs> Sorry, I... something stuck in my throat. Well, he seems to be enjoying himself. Lovely to have enthusiastic employees. Oh, wow! You're even better at this than I thought you'd be. To be fair, we're not super enthusiastic about the health needs of mastermind criminals, but you do you. I'll send over some genetic replicators so you can begin cloning the staff yourself. I do hope you enjoy them. Try not to replicate my mistakes. 
Also, I'll send you some of my galactically patented cobalt suppositories. You can use them to wipe the memories of your doctors, letting them gain expertise in a new room. As for why I have pills that cause retrograde amnesia, well, dog training. Here's an orange key card. You can use it to open up whatever wing of the prison you want. Except Wing X, which has its own issues right now. Hey, you guys are human, right? I can't actually see any of you when I'm on the call. Absolutely, sir. Full, normal, Earth-grown human beings. Wing B, got it. Many of the inmates in there are weird electrified. Our tasers don't work on them, which was an unfortunate thing to find out. Static charge, quite an ingenious energizing of living flesh. I had a notion that with a light modification of the blood vessels, bodies could be turned into batteries. Imagine the unlimited power! <laughs> I'm sure we can research this condition to our mutual satisfaction. <laughs> oh, ah, apologies. I just remembered a very amusing picture from the Exonet. The text on it was most delicious.
Galactica. Just some bits and bobs, really. I'll chuck it in. Hope it helps you out. I'm off to catch up with the news. Director, black sites have been spotted in the station.
These clones are unpleasantly zappy. I may need to retrieve the protective suit I use for birthday parties. I haven't the first notion of what that could possibly mean, Doctor. But yes, you do seem to have successfully turned your odes into breathing Tesla coils. Rather impressive, actually, if you think about it. Oh, I'm very, very glad you think so. A swarm of vomitongs has found a way inside the... Prison. I guess security isn't as tight as they think. Maybe word up the zapper. On it. Static charge has been an abject failure. The subjects expired well before Morse uncovered the killer. Another episode ruined. Still, if you want to make an outlet, you have to kill some clones. <laughs> Thank you. 